Hi everybody and uh, welcome to this quick unboxing of Dust Tactics, uh, the core set. This is the revised core set. This is by Fantasy Flight Miniatures and Dust Tactics, as it says on the box, is a tactical miniatures board game in the world of dust. So this arrived uh, yesterday. Let's take a look inside and see what's in there. Now this is a kind of, as they say, weird World War II, so it's an alternative World War II setting. I think what's really interesting about it is both the units and the fact that you get uh, two small starter armies inside the kit. So without further ado, let's have a look inside. As you can see, it comes very nicely packaged, beautiful artwork. And the first thing you come to when you take a look inside is the rules, the rules of play, as it says here. When I first opened this, I was actually pretty impressed with the quality of the printing. You can get a sense for that here. You've got nice component lists, it's beautifully done, full color, um, information about all the unit cards and everything else. Font is very reasonable, uh, size and well printed. And you can see throughout the rule book, for example, uh, rules are very clear. You've got these nice uh, full color large images and also the rules are nicely illustrated um, with these diagrams here. So all in all a pretty good looking rule book um, and I'm looking forward to having a good read through this later. The other thing that you get is what's the uh, what's called the Victory Bridge campaign. This is a campaign that has uh, information about using the two armies that are included in a specific military campaign situation. Again, very nicely done, full color, uh, background information is full, and it's got information about how you use the different maps, the setup, the different scenarios, and so on. So um, that's the Victory Bridge campaign pack. Now in a way, I've heard that Dust Tactics is kind of like a tactical board game on a large scale. And when I first saw these two printed maps, that kind of reinforced that opinion. You can see that the maps are divided into these different squares here. And each of the icons that you see on the squares indicates a different kind of terrain. Now this is quite large. We can open this up and you'll get a sense of how large this is here. And you can see that it comes uh, pre-printed with buildings, for example. Taking a look on the other side, you can see that we've got different kinds of terrain. Here you can see this uh, icon illustrates a different kind of terrain. I think this is water, which means it's impassable, um, and so on. And here's a bridge, and I imagine, I think that you use that in the campaign later. So you get two of those um, printed gaming maps. I'm not going to open this one up as well, but you can feel that, uh, get the sense that it's quite a large gaming area. And then we come to the part that I think will interest most people, which is the miniatures that are included in the set. Now, I'm really interested in Dust Warfare, um, and I downloaded the rules for Dust Warfare from the Fancy Flight website just the other day. Um, but the Dust Warfare uses Dust Tactics miniatures as its basis. So in the Dust Tactics core set here, what you get is starter kits for two armies, Allies and Axis, and we'll take a very quick look at those. Now, if you're into painting your miniatures, um, the first thing that you notice is that these are pre-primed. The allied miniatures are pre-primed in this kind of um, green, and the axis miniatures in this gray. And these are the light walkers, the light mechs that come in the kit. No real assemblies required. They're ready to go, and they're on their bases like that. And you could just play with them as they are right now because they are in these different colors. Let's take a look uh, at how they would fit together. Um, and you can see that Fitting these together requires kind of minimal effort. There you go, it just kind of slots in there. You could glue that or you could keep it as it is. Very, very simple. Now the quality of the miniatures themselves is high. There are a few moving parts, as you can see. Everything looks pretty nicely molded. Yeah, there are some mold lines here, yeah, there's some flash, um, but nothing, nothing too extreme. And they already come with these icons on them as well. You also get these unit cards, and uh, you have a unit card for each unit that's in the game. And these also show you the units that are packed in this set. So if you're interested in the Axis side, you get uh, a hero, which is Lara. You get a unit of Sturm Pioneer, a unit of Heavy Flak Grenadiers, the uh, Light Walker Hands, and a unit of Heavy Laser Grenadiers. Taking a look at the Allies, the Allies hero is Rhino, Sergeant Major, Major William Springfield. The Death Dealers, 
the hammers, the light mech is the black hawk, and then there's the hellboys themselves. And these come packaged in these boxes, we'll open those up in just a second. You also get these unit terrain cards, so you put these out on the terrain and they indicate different kinds of terrain. We have two tank, two tank traps here, you can see these are plastic, very nice, good quality. And you also get these ammo crates as well, two of those that you can see. And in terms of other pieces, you get these six dice here that are ready to play with, already marked. But I guess the thing that you're probably most, in, most interested in is the units. So let's quickly open up those. You get two boxes, each of which contains different units. This is the Axis units here. Each individual model is separately wrapped. And we'll just open up one of these for you here so you can see them. These are also pre-primed, just like the mechs. These are the Axis models, they're in grey. They come on these bases here. And you can see um, the quality here, very nice. Um, quite an action-packed pose on this one. Uh, and this would just be ready to get going with painting. You could probably leave most of it grey and then just do a couple of washes to add some depth and shadow, for example, and then maybe some highlights. So you get all of these miniatures in the set and the same for the allies as well. Let's take a look at those. One of the nice touches that I think is um, kind of adds to the overall sense of quality is the fact that each of these bases comes marked with the Dust Tactics logo. Um, the, the individual models themselves, some of them move, some of them don't move. One of the things that I have to say though from looking through all the models is a um, little bit of a problem with quality control. A lot of the barrels of the weapons were bent for example and also a couple of the miniatures themselves are, are missing hands or, or missing weapons so I wasn't too impressed with that but I am impressed with the kind of usability of the models overall. So that's all we've got time for here, just a quick introduction to what was in the Dust Tactics core set, the revised core set. And uh, if I have time, and once I get more information and have had a read through the Dust Warfare rules, then I'll, I'll post an update. Thanks very much for watching.